Hello everyone, welcome to Unified Council. Today we are going to discuss previous year questions for Unified International English Olympia exam. So without any further ado, let's begin. The very first section here is vocabulary and functional grammar. And directions for this section are select correct and uh, select correct option to answer each question. So basically, we are given a question followed by four options and we need to select the correct one. Question number one is, which option is not an adjective? Worse, diverse, perverse or averse? So the word or the option which is not an adjective here is worse. Option A, worse. The word worse is not an adjective, rather it's a noun. Okay, the word worse is a noun, not an adjective. And it means writing that is arranged in lines. Often with a regular rhythm or pattern of lines. Okay, so it is option A, words, which is not an adjective. Now, let's try question number two. Which option can be a singular? Sepsis, legacies, legacies sorry, uh, policies or species. Sepsis is a kind of infection, okay. Legacy is plural of legacy. Policy is plural of policy. The noun species. See, this noun is same in singular as well as plural form. Okay, the noun species is same in singular as well as plural form. It is species. There is no word as species. Okay, it's species always. So, it is option D, which can be a singular. Next up, we have which option is the sound a buck makes? Bleed, croak, grunt, or growl? So, correct answer here is grunt. Okay. Sound that a buck makes is grunt. G R U N T, grunt. If I talk about other sounds, like we have bleed, given, croak, growl. See, bleed, sheep or goats bleed, right? Bleed is the sound sheep or goats. Okay, let me write the sound here and the grunt should be here and buck should be here, right? So grunt is the sound a buck makes. Bleat is the sound sheep or goats make. Frog croak. Okay, croak is the sound a frog makes. 
and growl uh, growl is a deep angry sound made when somebody or something growls. For instance, the dog gave a threatening growl. Or you can see the growl of the engine. Okay. The growl of the engine, the growl of the dog. So it's a deep angry sound. Okay. Correct answer clearly here is option C. Grant. Next is question number four. Which option cannot be a past tense? Present, past, and past participle. Okay. These are the forms of verb. Now, which option cannot be a past tense? See, the one, uh, first one is bought. It is the past form of verb buy. It's buy, bought, bought. Brought is the past form of verb bring. Bring, brought, brought. Sort is also past form. It's the past form of verb seek. Okay, it's seek, sort, sort. Now, if I talk about thought, no doubt that is also a past form. of verb think it think thought thought now you will say all are past forms of verb bought is the past of buy brought is the past of bring a thought is the past of seek thought is the past of think then which option cannot be a past tense like all are past tense here yes they are past tense, but which one cannot be a past tense? Thought. Because the word thought can be a noun also. Okay. Thought is a noun also, which means Something that you think of or something that you remember. That's a thought. Okay, so this option cannot be a past tense because it can also be a noun. Okay, so that's why correct answer is option D. Moving towards the next one, question number five. Which option is the name of an animal? Bear, boar, boar, or bear. So B E A R. That's bear. Okay. B W -E R. Bear is not an animal. B O R E boar. No. B E A R E bear. No. B O A R boar. That's uh, the name of an animal. B O A R. B O A R boar is a wild pig. Okay. B-O-A-R boar is a wild pig, so that's the name of an animal making option C the 
correct answer. Then next up is question number six from punctuation. Which option can be a punctuation? Period, time, escalation, or injection. So which option can be a punctuation here? Correct answer is option A, period. Okay, option A, period can be a punctuation. Period is this. Which we use at the end of a declarative or an assertive sentence. For example, I am a teacher. Full stop. Or period. Okay. It is called period, which you also call full stop. Okay, so period, full stop is also known as period. So period can be a punctuation. Making option A the correct answer. All right, next one, question number seven. Which option can be a collective noun? First of all, what is a collective noun? See, noun is a name, right? Noun is a name. Collective noun is the name of a group or the name of a collection. Okay. So here, among the given options, the word which can be a collective noun is next. A group of rabbits is called nest. Okay, nest is a group of rabbits. Okay, so for that reason, nest can be a collective noun. Making option C the correct answer. Easy, right? So that's how you know you have to solve further questions also. Next is question number eight. Which is the masculine counterpart of counter? Okay. So, which is the masculine counterpart of countess? It is Earl. Okay. Earl is the masculine counterpart of countess. Countess is feminine. Okay. It is E-A-R-L. Earl. Now, what does Earl mean? All is basically a British nobleman of high rank. Okay, so uh, Earl is a British nobleman of high rank. Okay, its feminine counterpart is counted. So, correct answer clearly is option B. Okay, question number nine is from vocabulary. Which option is an antonym of smooth? Vivi, uh, crude, coarse, or jumpy? You have to tell the opposite of smooth. So it is coarse. Okay, C O A R S E, coarse it is, which means rough.
not soon. Okay, C O A R and C. It is option C, which is the antonym of noun or the adjective uh, smooth. Then next up is question number 10. How many four letter words starting with the letter D can be made from the word student? Okay. So you have to use letters of the word student and have to form four letter words. Okay. Starting with letter D. Let's see. How many four letter words can we uh, make? Starting with letter D. Using the letters of word student. So one can be D E N T dent. Another one. Yeah, we can frame D U S T dust. Thereafter, dude. Then we can frame. We can frame D U N E dune also. See D U N E dune. And then then. D E N S then what is yeah D U N T done those D U N T don't I think one more can be uh frame with D U E T do it do it I don't think any more words can be framed um letter D using the letters of word student. Yeah, these are the seven uh, words, four letter words that we can make from the letters of word student, starting with letter D. Dent, dust, dues, dune, uh, then we have dent, dant, do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Correct answer is option D. Next up, we have question number 11. Again, from vocabulary. All right, so in this question, we have to tell which option is a synonym of boring. So synonym of word boring here is monotonous, monotonous. Monotonous means boring. Boring, okay, dull, not exciting, or not interesting, okay, boring, monotonous, something that you do uh, like daily, that becomes sort of boring, right? So that is monotonous routine, boring routine, dull, not interesting, not exciting. It is option C. Thereafter, we have question number 12. Which option rhymes with the word draw? So let's pronounce the given words approve, remove, prove, draw, store. Store is the word that rhymes with the word draw. Okay. It is option B. Then next up is question number 13 in which it's um, fill in the blank. Select correct option to fill the blank. He sat among a blank of blanks. He 
heap of plants, cluster of plants, clump of plants or pair of plants. What is it? So we say a clump of plants. Okay. It's a clump of plants. Clump basically is A small group of things or people very close together. Especially These are plants. Okay. A bunch of something like grass, hair. Okay. So we say like that. A clump of trees or we say a clump of bushes or we say as in the given question, a clump of plants. So it is option C. All right, now let's try question number 14. Uncle is taking my brother and plants for a tour in his chocolate factory. So basically it is the object, right? of the verb take. Uncle is taking who? My brother and blank. Okay, so we require an objective case of pronoun here. It's me. My brother and me. Me is the objective case of pronoun I. I and she are subjective cases. That is a possessive adjective. Okay. So I and she subjective case of pronoun. That is a possessive adjective. We required an objective case of pronoun. Hence, me. Okay. Option B. Then next up is question number 15. Again, fill in the blank. Walk blank when you are crossing the road. So when you are crossing the road, how should you walk? Quickly. Should you walk quickly when you are crossing the road? Not at all. Skillfully. Does it require any kind of skill? No, right? Briskly is also kind of swiftly, like quickly. No. You should walk cautiously, carefully when you are crossing the road. Okay. Cautiously means carefully. Walk cautiously when you are crossing the road. It is option C. Next one is question number 16. You will know the surprise blank due time. For due time, in due time, on due time, or at due time. So you will know the surprise in due time. Okay, it's in due time. In due time means eventually or at the right time. It 
this option b okay in due time means you will know the surprise at the right time or eventually okay it's option b okay now try to solve this one this is very important concept question number 17 the concept that is being used in this question it's pretty important we had reached before the caterers plants of food now see whenever we have two actions of the past the one which happened earlier is written in past perfect tense and the one which happened later in the past is written in simple past this is the concept that i'm talking about okay whenever you are talking about two actions of the past okay like two things happened in the past two actions happened in the past the one which had happened earlier is written in past perfect tense that is had plus past participle form of verb and the one which happened later in the past is written in simple past tense that is v2 so we had reached before the caterer see had plus we is that so here it should be we too brought the food okay so it is option a we had reached before the caterer brought the food like caterer brought the food later b reached before okay so this is in past perfect and this is in simple past it is option a so this is pretty important concept you must know this it will help you it will definitely help you in a lot of questions trust me so kindly take a note of this concept this rule and let's try the next one which is question number 18 so man looks uh, looks blank since i last saw him thin mortal or fat or thin or so see here we are basically comparing okay we are comparing the looks of suman okay like the current looks and that of when i last saw him so comparison between two things must be comparative degree of adjective in the blank so thin is the positive degree fat is also a positive degree more taller grammatically incorrect because you do not use uh, two comparative degrees or two superlative degrees together right you do not use uh, two comparatives or two superlatives together like we cannot say more bit or more taller or more higher we don't say like that we also cannot say like this most best or most tallest most highest that is also a big no it's incorrect comparative degree is thinner suman looks thinner since i last saw him it's option b Next up is question number nineteen from question time. He had not been to school yesterday, blanky. So now, while solving 
questions of question tags, you must know three rules. Number one, a question tag always has two words in it. A helping verb and a pronoun. Second thing. Positive sentence has a negative question tag. And vice versa. Means negative sentence has a positive question tag. Okay. And one more thing, whenever we write a negative question tag, it must always be written in contracted form. By contraction, I mean don't write like this. Do not they. Don't write like this. Write it like this. Don't they? You see, this is what we call contracted form. So, now see. He had not been to school. Had not negative sentence. Must be a positive question tag. Pronoun is he already given. Helping verb is had. Had he. He had not been to school yesterday. Had he? So, it is option. Now, let's try the next one, which is question number 20. Blanco first is having any luck at the casino. We are losing. So, it's written we are losing. So, we cannot say either of us or one of us or both of us. No. Neither of us is having any luck. You see, we are losing. So, not even one of us, right? Neither. See, any is also written here. So, any is used in negative sense. That's why it's option B. Neither. Neither of us is having any luck at the casino. We are losing. Option B. Thereafter, we have the next question, question number 21 from articles. Hurry bought blank new bicycle. Blank bicycle was stolen on blank next day. First of all, Hurry bought a new bicycle. We are introducing a thing for the first time. Consonant sound, a. Oh. Hari bought a new bicycle. Now we are talking about the same bicycle. Now it is specific. So the. Hari bought a new bicycle. The bicycle was stolen on the next day. The next we say. Okay, the first, the second, the next. It is option C. A, the, and the. Next is question number 22. You should blank to your mistakes. So you should own up. You should own up to your mistakes. Own up to something means. To admit. That. You are. Responsible for something bad. 
or wrong. Okay. To admit that you are responsible for something bad or wrong. In other words, you can say to confess. Okay, for instance, I'm still waiting for someone. on up to the breakages. Okay, so it's to admit that you are responsible for something bad, for something wrong, to confess your uh, bad doing, right? So it's that. It is option B. Moving to the next one, question number 23. Select the option that forms the second pair similar in manner to the given pair. And the given pair is partisan is to biased. And we have to tell then limited is to walk. So the relationship in the analogy is that uh, partisan, it indicates bias. And limited, uh, you know, it indicates restriction or constraint. So to maintain parallelism, we need a word that also signifies restriction or constraint. So that is finite. Okay, so partition is to bias and so limited is to finite. Something is limited, something is finite. Okay. It is option C. Next one. Question number 24. Select option that can replace the underline in the given sentence correctly. One word substitution. Okay. The sofa set took up a lot of space in the living room. Okay, so, so the sofa set took up a lot of space means it occupied a lot of space, right? Here, took up can be replaced with occupied. Okay, it is option D. The sofa set occupied a lot of space in the living room. Thereafter, we have question number 25. The lake high up in the mountain has water as clear as blood. So it's simile as a structure which we use for comparison, which we use to show equality. So the correct simile here is as clear as crystal. Okay. If something is as clear as crystal, it means it's very clear. Or you can say it's transparent. Transparent. Okay, the lake high up in the mountain has water as clear as, as clear as crystal means it's pretty clear. It's even it's like transparent. Okay. So it is option C. All right, we are done with the first section that was vocabulary and functional grammar. Now we are on the another section which is
interactive english okay it is the second section in which we have to fill correct options in the blanks to make the conversation complete ideal and meaningful okay or basically we have to select correct options to answer the questions 31st question here is manager why do you arrive late regularly santosh so because you like us being regular don't you come on manager is asking why do you arrive late like regularly you arrive late why is it so so because the bus arrives late not the appropriate one so i'm trying to be punctual in arriving late what kind of response is this this is perfect sorry sir like firstly the employee is apologizing i will not give you a chance to say so again perfect sorry sir i will not give you a chance to say so again it is option d next one question number 32 passenger 1 is asking passenger 2 will this bus go to palika bazaar passenger 2 what would it buy going there come on passenger wants to go to that place okay i don't care i have already bought what i wanted maybe if it feels like no see the correct response is yes it will or no it will not right option c will this bus go to palika bazaar yes it will okay it is option c next up we have question number 33 Waiter, so how do you like your coffee? Kumar, quick, free, clean, black. Black is the perfect one. It's the appropriate option. We have black coffee, right? Having little or no milk. How how do you like your coffee? I like to have black coffee. Okay, it's option D. This was pretty simple, I guess. Yes. so now quickly let's try the next one question number 34 which option or which expression is not an exclamation all right man well or whoopee whoopee is you know we say we say like it is not like whoopee we won the match so whoopee is definitely an exclamation and it is used to express happiness okay for instance dp we have one well and man these are also exclamations okay like well is used to express surprise anger or relief like we say well thank goodness that's over okay like that man is also a uh, man is also an exclamation it is used to express surprise anger etc for instance we say like this now man that was great
okay all right is an expression that is not an exclamation okay you may have seen all right as an exclamation but that is used in an informal that is not formal okay so it's option a all right that is not an exclamation and then we have reached the last question the final one from this paper question number 35 select options correctly describing the expression below get a definition here and fix it in the next half hour what is it is it a demand a request a command or an inquiry it's not an inquiry we are not uh, questioning you are not asking anything here it's not even a demand it's not a request you are not uh, pleading here it's a command it's an order get a technician here and fix it in the next half hour that's a command that's an order you see command means an order given to a person or an animal okay so the given expression it's a command it's an order it is option b and yes that's it this brings us to the end of this session and i hope i assume that you found the session helpful you understood all the questions all the concepts that were discussed in this particular session now i'll see you very very soon in the next one where we are when we are going to discuss some more important questions so do not miss that be that till then bye bye take care keep learning keep sharing